Now we will see question number four of exercise two point two standard seventh. So let us first see the question. Question four is shade. First one is half of the circles in the box. So you are given circles inside the box and you are going to shade half of this. Second is two third of the triangles in the box. So out of these triangles you are going to shade two third. Okay, two third part of it. Then it is three fifth of the square in third box. So here there are squares and you will shade three fifth of it. So first of all, let us see how we will shade. So first one is half of the circles. So half of the circles. So you need to first count how many circles are there inside this box. So half of the circles. So you need to count how many circles are there. So first we will count circles. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there are total twelve circles. So we will take half of twelve. We will take half of twelve. Half of circles and circles are twelve. So we will simply write twelve in place of circles. So half of twelve. Now, of means multiplication. In this chapter, fraction and decimal. The word of means multiplication. This is operator for multiplication. So in place of of, you will write multiplication sign. So half into twelve. So this way you will write half into twelve. Now cancellation is possible. So we will do cancellation. Two ones are and two six are. Now what is left? One into six. So one into six equal to six. So our answer is six. So we will shade six circles from this. So six circles. We will shade like this. So now you know how many circles to be shaded. So six circles you will shade. So this is our first one. Now let us see second one. Second one is two third of the triangles. Now two third means how much part we need to shade. So we need to find out. So again same method. Two third of triangles. Two third of triangles. So again it will be two third of triangles now we need to count how many triangles are there so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so there are total nine triangles so 2/3 of 9 so how much is 2/3 of 9 so we need to find out again of means multiplication so 2/3 multiply by 9 in place of of we will write multiplication sign and now we will do cancellation so 3 ones are and 3 threes are cancellation is possible so we will do cancellation now 2 into 3 is left denominator nothing is left only one is left so that we don't have to write 2 into 3 so 2 into 3 will give you 6 so how many triangles you will shade six triangles you will shade so six triangles you will shade so that is your answer so six triangle you need to shade it properly now third one is same it is 3 fifth of the squares so 3 fifth of the squares means again 3 fifth of squares so again you need to count how many squares are there so squares are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 there are 15 squares so we will take 3 fifth of 15 again of means multiply so 3 fifth into 15 again 5 and 15 cancellation is possible so 5 ones are and 5 threes are so 3 into 3 is left so 3 into 3 3 threes are is 9 so we need to shade nine squares from this so we need to shade nine squares so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 
you need to write down 24. Now again 2 and 24 cancellation is possible. 2 ones are here 2 ones are and 2 twos are. So what is left 1 into 12. So 1 into 12 means answer is 12. So this is your half of 24. Same way second part. Second part is half of 46. So now you will take half of 46. So that will be half into 46. Again cancellation is possible. 2 ones are here. 2 twos are 4 and 2 threes are 6. So your answer will be 1 into 23. So that is 23. So this was A. Now moving ahead with B. So B is 2 third of 18 and 27. So let us solve first one. It is 2 third of again there are two questions 18 and second one is 27. So we will do first one that is 2 third of 18. So again same procedure of means multiply. So we will keep 2 third into 18. So 3 ones are and 3 six are 18. Now what is left 2 into 6. So 2 into 6. So 2 six are will be 12. So first one is 12. Now we will find 27. 2 third of 27 means how much? So second one we will do. So again 2 third of 27 means 2 third into 27. So again 3 ones are and 3 nines are. So 2 into 9. So 2 nines are will be 18 is your answer. So first and second we have done this C and D. This both you people will try yourself. So this was question number 5. Now let us see question number 6. We have seen this type of question in previous video also. Multiply and express as a mixed fraction. You need to multiply and if cancellation is possible, you need to do cancellation and then you need to convert into mixed fraction. So let us see first one. Our first one is 3 multiplied by 5 integer 1 upon 5. Now, first of all, you need to convert this part. So here 3 multiplied by 5 is a 25 plus 1. So this will be 26 upon 5. Now, here cancellation is not possible. 26 and 5, they are coming in any same table? No. They both never come in any same table. This is even and this is odd number. Again, 3 and 5, cancellation not possible. So, we need to multiply 3 into 26. So, multiplying, so 3 into 26 or 26 into 3. So, 3 6 will be 18. Carry up 1, 3 2 are 6 and 1 7. So, our answer is 78 upon 5. Now, this answer we need to convert into mixed fraction because it is given in the question. So, we will divide. So, 78 we will divide by 5. So, 5 ones are 5. 7 minus 5 will give you 2. This 8 we will bring down. Now, 5 5 are 25. Now, 8 minus 5 will be 3. Now, we don't have any number to bring down. So, we need to stop over here. Now, we need to write this as mixed fraction. As I told you, we will write like this Q. R upon D. So first we will write quotient. So our quotient is 15. So 15 integer 3 upon 5. This is R remainder and this is divisor. So 15 integer 3 upon 5. So this is our final answer in mixed fraction. So this was A. Let us see B1. B1 is 5 into 6 integer 3 by 4. Again first we need to convert this and then we need to do next step. So 5 into this part same. Now 4 6 are 24 plus 3. So 25, 26, 27. So this will be 27 upon 4. Again you need to multiply because cancellation is not possible. 27 or 4. Do no aata hai kisi same table mein? No. So 27 or uh, 4 cancellation possible? Nahi hai. Not possible. So we can't cancel. So we need to multiply 5 into 27. So let us do it. 27 Pfizer. So 7 Pfizer 35. Carry up 3. Now 5 to the 10 and 3 13. So it is 135 upon 4. Again, we need to convert this answer into mixed fraction. So, you need to divide it. So, 135, you need to divide by 4. So, uh, we will take this. So, 4 3 za is 12. Now, 3 minus 2, 1. 13 minus 12 is 1. This 5 we will bring down. Again, 4 3 za will be 12. So, 5 minus 2 will be 3. Or 15 minus 12 will be 3. So, this is our question. This is remainder and this is divisor. So, our final answer will be 33 integer 3 upon 4. 33 integer 3 upon 4. This is our final answer in mixed fraction. Now, first and second we have seen this C, D, E and F. They are also of same type. So, this 1, 2, 3 and 4 sums you people will try yourself. So, this was question 6. Now, going ahead to question number 7. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन इज फाइंड इन दैट ए इन ए देर आर टू क्वेश्चन इन बी देर आर टू क्वेश्चन सो ए वी विल डू फर्स्ट सो ए इज हाफ ऑफ ए इज हाफ ऑफ फर्स्ट इज टू इंटीजर थ्री बाई फोर एंड सेकेंड इज फोर इंटीजर टू बाय नाइन सो वी नीड टू फाइंड हाफ ऑफ दिस पार्ट देन वी नीड टू फाइंड हाफ ऑफ दिस पार्ट सो फर्स्ट वी विल डू फर्स्ट वन दैट इज हाफ ऑफ दिस टू इंटीजर थ्री बाय फोर दिस इज ऑलमोस्ट सेम एज प्रीवियस सम लेट इज स्टार्ट सो हाफ I told you off means multiplication, so we will keep here multiplication sign in place of off. Now we need to convert this, then we can solve it. So four two is a eight, eight plus three, so nine, ten, eleven. So it is eleven upon four. Now if cancellation is possible, you will do. Otherwise, you will multiply. So eleven and four cancellation is not possible. Also eleven and two this way also it is not possible. So now cancellation not possible. So we need to multiply. So one into eleven. Eleven one zai is eleven and down four two zai is eight. So this is our answer. Now they have not told to convert into mixed fraction. So you can leave it like this. Or if you want, you can convert into mixed by dividing. Divide eleven by eight. So eight one zai eight. So eleven minus eight will be three. Okay three. So Our answer will be one integer three by eight. This will be our answer in mixed fraction. After division, you can write like this: eight one zero eight, nine ten eleven. So eleven upon eight. You can check. Now second part we will do of a second part. Second part is half of four integer two by nine. So we need to take half into. Now we need to convert this. So four nine zero thirty six plus two. So thirty eight upon nine. Now Thirty-eight and nine, cancellation is not possible. But yes, two and thirty-eight both are even numbers, so we can cancel. So two ones are here. Two ones are two. So one left because three is there. So one eight eighteen means two nines are. So nineteen upon nine is left. So this is our answer. You can convert it into mixed fraction by dividing again. So nineteen divide by nine. So you can divide nine ones are nine. Nine two is eighteen. So nine minus eight will be one. So our answer will be two integer one upon nine. This will be our answer. Hope you understood this A part first and second. Now this B part, you people will try yourself. Here five upon eight is there, so you need to multiply. Here one was there, so directly we got okay. One I will show you. It is five upon eight. First one I will show you five upon eight of five upon eight of three integer five by six. So. Five upon eight of means multiply. We need to now convert this. So six three is eighteen. Eighteen plus five nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three. So twenty three upon six. Okay. Now you need to do cancellation if it is possible. So eight and twenty three not possible. Five and six not possible. This way also not possible. This way also not possible. So cancellation is not possible. So directly we will multiply numerator with numerator. So five into twenty three. So five three is a fifteen. Carry one, five two is a ten and one eleven, and here six eight is a forty eight. So this is our answer. We need to divide it and bring it into mixed fraction. Okay, so you can divide and bring it, or otherwise you can leave it like this also. One one five divide by forty eight. So forty eight one is forty eight. Forty eight two is a. We will check over here. So two eight is a sixteen. Carry up one. Four two is a eight and one nine ninety six. Let us take forty eight three is a. So three eight is a twenty four. Carry up two four three is a twelve thirteen fourteen one forty four. It is one forty four eight three is a twenty four two four two is a twelve thirteen fourteen one forty four and this is ninety six. So we will take ninety six because one forty four is more. So forty eight two is a ninety six. Now let us subtract. So this five will become fifteen and this will be zero. Okay, and this will be one. So this will be like this. So fifteen minus six will be nine. Fifteen minus six will be nine. Now this is ten. So ten minus nine will be one. Nineteen. Now nineteen is not possible. So here we need to stop. So our answer is two integer nineteen upon forty eight. Two integer nineteen upon forty eight. This is our Final answer: two integer nineteen upon forty-eight. This I have shown first one. Now second one, you people will try yourself. So question seven is over. Now moving ahead with question number eight. So question number eight, which is last question, is word problem. Let us see that. First of all, we need to understand the question. Vidya and Pratap went for a picnic. 
ओके विद्या एंड प्रताप वेन फॉर अ पिकनिक देअर मदर गिव दम अ वॉटर बॉटल दैट कंटेन फाइव लीटर्स ऑफ वॉटर हाउ मच टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर वॉज देअर इन द बॉटल टोटल इट वॉज फाइव लीटर विद्या कंज्यूम्ड टू अपॉन फाइव ऑफ द वॉटर नाउ विद्या हैज कंज्यूम टू फिफ्थ ऑफ द वॉटर टोटल फाइव लीटर वॉज देअर एंड आउट ऑफ दैट she has drank 2/5 now first we need to find out that 2/5 of 5 liter means how much 5 liter mein se 2/5 pani usne pee liya hai matlab kitna part she has already consumed pratap consumed the remaining water and whatever remaining that is taken up by pratap so first we need to find out how much water did vidya drink second we need to find out what fraction of the total quantity of water did pratap drink let us start first of all we are given total water amount of water so amount of water in water bottle is given that is 5 liters now water consumed by vidya vidya has consumed 2 upon 5 of 5 liter total 5 liter tha right usme se 2 upon 5 pani that is consumed by vidya so water consumed by vidya equal to 2 upon 5 of 5 liter now we need to find out this it is given in fraction we have to bring it in number so 2 upon 5 of 5 liter so we will get like this 2 upon 5 into 5 now cancellation is possible so 5 and 5 cancel so 2 is left so 2 liters so how much water is already consumed by vidya vidya has taken up 2 liters of water she has already consumed she has drank so this is our answer for vidya so water drank by vidya is 2 liters now we will find for pratap water consumed by pratap we need to subtract from 1 because there was one bottle containing 5 liters of water so whenever we are finding out remaining in a fraction and only one fraction is given we always subtract from 1 we have seen in previous video also so that is equal to 1 minus 2 upon 5 from 1 we will subtract of vidya vidya ka jo bhi hai fraction 2 upon 5 that we need to remove from 1 so 1 minus 2 upon 5 now we are subtracting here so we need to take out lcm so here 1 upon 1 i can write so we have to take lcm so lcm of 1 and 5 will be 5 lcm leke fir minus karenge we will take lcm and then we will minus so lcm of 1 and 5 will be 5 so moving ahead here 1 is there we want 5 so we will multiply this with 5 so 1 into 5 into 5 this fraction we will multiply with 5 here already 5 is there so we need to multiply with 1 so 5 into 1 and here 2 into 1 now 5 ones are will be 5 and 2 ones are will be 2 and this denominator 5 and 5 now denominators became same because we have taken lcm so now denominators are same so we will get 5 minus 2 whole upon 5 now 5 minus 2 whole upon 5 will be 3 so 3 upon 5 so 3 upon 5 part this much part is uh, this much part of water is already drank by pratap but this is in fraction we need to find our answer in liters so 3 upon 5 is in fraction we have to find in liter so again we will do 3 upon 5 of 5 liter so we have to find out that 3 upon 5 of 5 liter means how much part so that we have to find out ye fraction mein hai answer humko liters mein nikalna hai so 3 upon 5 of 5 liter so it will be like this 3 upon 5 into 5 again 5 and 5 cancel So what is left? Three. So three liters. So water drank by Pratap is three liters. So Vidya has drank two liters, and remaining water means Pratap has drank three liters. See, if you add two liter plus three liter, two plus three will be five. So total five liter water was there in the bottle. Okay. So this answer is correct, and this is uh, here our exercise two point two is over.